Water quality is an important factor at hydrostatic test consideration so that many corrosion and cracking problems are resulted from improper water quality. The important factor in hydrostatic test consideration by code and standards are as follows. Total dissolved solids, TDS. Chloride content specially for austenitic stainless steel. pH, conductivity, and other parameters. Drying. Hydrostatic pressure tests of equipment having components of type 300 series stainless steel should be conducted with potable water or steam condensate having a chloride concentration of less than 50 ppm. After the test, the vessel should be completely drained and dried. The inspector should verify the specified water quality is used and that the vessel has been rained and dried. If potable water is not available or if immediate draining and drying is not possible, water having a very low chloride level, higher pH of pH greater than 10, and inhibitor addition should be considered to reduce the risk of pitting, chloride stress corrosion cracking, and microbiologically induced corrosion. For sensitized austenitic stainless steel piping subject to polythionic stress corrosion cracking, consideration should be given to using an alkaline water solution for pressure testing. Piping fabricated of or having components of austenitic stainless steel should be hydro-tested with a solution made up of potable water deionized or demineralized water or steam condensate having a total chloride concentration of less than 50 ppm. After testing is completed, the piping should be thoroughly drained air-blown, or otherwise dried. If potable water is not available or if immediate draining and drying is not possible, water having a very low chloride level, higher pH, and inhibitor addition may be considered to reduce the risk of pitting and microbiologically induced corrosion. The use of salt or brackish water should be avoided. Test water should be free from sediment and corrosive substances. The test water should be verified to be free of microbes. If the water contains an unacceptable level of microbes, it should be disinfected. Test water used for austenitic steel vessels or piping systems, or for components clad or overlaid with austenitic stainless steel, should be condensate, demineralized, or of potable quality, with a verified chloride content of less than 50 ppm. Test liquid should be drained immediately after completion of the hydrostatic test. Care should be exercised to provide proper venting to prevent the creation of internal negative pressure or vacuum during draining. Pressure vessels and or piping systems that will hold the test water for more than 10 days, whether or not the test liquid is pressurized, should be treated with a corrosion inhibitor and biocide. A corrosion engineer should be consulted. If further drying is necessary, the use of hot air or hot nitrogen should be considered. If complete drainage of austenitic stainless steel vessels and or piping systems is not possible, the components should be flushed with low chloride water.